Hey guys, it's Dr. Cam. I am coming to you with a new video today about the magic of enclomiphene and why it's superior to herbal supplements and TRT or testosterone replacement therapy. So the best way to describe this is let me make a little bit of a metaphor that most people understand when it comes to high blood sugar diabetes. So imagine you walk into your doctor's office, you're slightly overweight, you have a little bit of high blood sugar, you go to him and you're like, okay, and your doc's like, well, you know, you kind of got like pre-diabetes, your high blood sugar is high, maybe you're starting to kind of progress into type two diabetes and you know, you gotta get this under control or otherwise things are gonna get worse. So he's like, look, I'm gonna give you two options. So number one, I can treat you just like a type one diabetic patient, meaning someone who genetically diabetic and pancreas doesn't work, their beta cells don't release insulin, and so you can inject insulin every single day for the rest of your life. And you're like, oh man, that sounds pretty onerous. Cause he's like, well, you know, if your body's not making enough insulin, you'll have to inject it. And in this case, you are making enough insulin, but he's like, well, if you can't take care of yourself, this is sort of the eventual path that you'll go down. And so you're like, well, what's option number two? Well, he's like, option number two uh, is a lot easier, but it's gonna take a little effort on your part. I'm gonna coach you to cut down on refined carbohydrates that may be contributing to your extra body fat. We'll help you lose weight over time and I'll put you on a low dose of metformin that'll help your blood sugar get under control. You're like, well, that sounds clearly like the better option. I'm willing to do that. Now that's what any responsible doctor would do. And the analogy that I make between that is the first option, injecting insulin every day, is basically what testosterone replacement therapy is. It's a treatment of last resort for people whose testicles do not function, just as insulin is a treatment of last resort for people whose pancreas doesn't function. Now, if you have organ failure, absolutely, go do injectable insulin and injectable TRT. It is life-saving for those who have non-functional organs. But honestly, that applies to a less than, you know, 10% of people, probably single digits of people in both cases. On the other hand, the overwhelming majority of people really just need lifestyle change and a low dose of an oral medication, not an injection, that is relatively safe and metformin would be in, in that category. And that's exactly what we're doing by pro providing a prescription estrogen blocker. So the difference between enclomiphene and TRT is pretty noteworthy. So let's start with the over-the-counter options. So you probably get Facebook ads or when you go to GNC, you see this black bottle uh, with a, some sort of testosterone booster that has ashkawanda or tonkata lee or fedogia agresta, these crazy herbs that you've never heard of that haven't been well studied. There's like no studies outside of, you know, rat studies, or maybe if they have even done studies in humans, like ashkawanda, it only increases testosterone by about 14%, which is not meaningful. It doesn't make any difference in terms of how you look, feel, and perform. And unfortunately, it's really just snake oil. It makes no significant difference. There's often no lab results that validate that any of these actually work, because if they did, they would be advertising it all over the place. Unfortunately, nothing over the counter works. And if it did, everyone would be taking it, but it doesn't. On the other hand, you do have TRT, which is like injectable insulin, like I was telling you about. The problem with TRT is that when you inject testosterone from outside of your body, it shuts down your testicles. Literally, your testicles go offline, they shrink, you become infertile, and you become dependent on it. Meaning that if you stop taking testosterone, let's say your testosterone level started at 400, maybe like a low normal level, they could go up to 800 on TRT, but once you stop taking it, they'll go down to close to zero or maybe zero to 100. So you actually are worse off than when you started and you'll feel terrible as a result because like I said, your testicles have shut down and they're no longer producing their own. So you're replacing what your body produces with a synthetic testosterone that's outside of the body. Don't be fooled by this whole bioidentical testosterone. Yes, it is chemically the same, but it's not the same process that's happening in the body because testosterone is obviously not meant to be injected, it's meant to be produced in the testicles. And so even when you inject it and you replace it externally, you're shutting down the cascade of hormones that your body naturally produces. From the moment that you eat an egg, which contains cholesterol, that gets turned into pregnenolone, progesterone, and gets broken down into testosterone. Even when you inject testosterone, you don't get that benefit of that cascade, the pregnenolone, the progesterone, all those hormones that are at the top of the funnel, which are really important for your cognitive functioning and neurological functioning, they also get shut down. So it's not the same because you're not producing gonadotropin releasing hormone, LH and FSH, that downstream cascade of the HPG axis, which is basically the connection between your brain 
and your testicles. Now, on the other hand, when you take enclomiphene, which is the prescription medication that we include in our protocol, what it does is a prescription estrogen blocker. Essentially, in selective parts of your body, it blocks the estrogen receptor. And because estrogen is derived from testosterone, your body says, oh, it seems like our estrogen is low. Let me produce more testosterone. And so what happens is in the brain, you produce more of that GnRH, that gonadotropin releasing hormone that stimulates production of LH, luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, trickles down into the testes and it produces more of your own natural testosterone. So I would actually argue it's much more bioidentical in that it's coming from the place that it should be. Testosterone comes from the testes, which is where that word comes from and that's where it's naturally produced. The benefits of that is as opposed to TRT, which shuts down your balls, it actually stimulates your testicles. As opposed to seeing testicular shrinkage in TRT, it actually maintains your testicular size, if not actually increases your testicular volumes. There's actually a poster presentation that it literally shows, makes your balls bigger on higher dosages. And finally, as opposed to making you infertile, TRT is literally a male contraceptive and should not be taken by anyone who wants to maintain their fertility or have children in the future. Enclomiphene and the class of medication that that's in is actually a fertility drug. It's commonly used by both men and women who want to increase their ability to conceive. So it makes you more fertile, literally more virile, because it increases sperm count. And so it's literally the opposite effect of TRT. So you get all the benefits without the downsides. And it's also incredibly safe. So as opposed to concerns about increasing hematocrit, your estradiol levels getting wonky, and clomiphene has very low side effects. In fact, in clinical trials, there were between one and 3% of people, very common side effects like headache that were very mild. And in fact, they were no different than placebo in clinical trials, meaning that if you give people in clomiphene and you give them a sugar pill, the same amount of people are gonna have the same amount of headaches. So it's probably not even due to the clomiphene itself. It's just a placebo effect in terms of both the effects and the side effects. So it's an incredibly safe drug. It can be taken long-term. And what happens if you stop taking it no dependence, meaning if you start at a 400 total testosterone, you increase to an 800 and you stop taking it, you'll just go back down to a 400. So you go back to exactly where you started. But the benefit is, as long as you're continuing to feel the benefits, you can take it safely and definitely long-term, as long as you and your doctor obviously agree to do so. It's really revolutionary in the sense that, as I mentioned, TRT should not really be done by anyone under 50, according to our advisor, Dr. Jim Hotling, who's a professor of urology at the University of Utah Medical School and one of the premier experts in this space. And clomiphene, on the other hand, can be taken by anyone as young as 18 years old. So as long as you're an adult, you're in otherwise good health and you medically qualify, it can be taken safely and effectively by healthy and young men. TRT, even though it's for essentially older men who have essentially a pretty significant medical issue in terms of primary hypogonadism, their testicles doesn't work. And clomiphene can be taken for performance optimization reasons for healthy young men who don't necessarily have low testosterone, but maybe they're feeling some of those symptoms that I talked about, low energy, low mood, low libido, etc., or they just want it to be better than normal. So for performance enhancement reasons, it can also be taken very safely and effectively. So hopefully that's a really good summary of the difference between enclomiphene and herbal supplements, which don't work, and TRT, which has pretty significant adverse effects. And that's why we believe in enclomiphene and that class of medication so much that it's part of our standard and it's the mainstay of essentially our protocol.